Welcome to another Fusion 360 manufacturing update. Before we dive in, first, a special announcement. As we all deal with the current public health crisis, communities from around the world are coming together to help support those in need and protect hardworking medical professionals on the front lines. To help you and the community, we've extended the duration of Fusion 360 free trials through May 31st as part of an overall effort across the company to provide you with the tools you need to be successful. Additionally, We've also made the manufacturing extension tools available to everyone at no additional cost through May 31st, including the new functionality in this update. Take a look at the links in the description for more information on the extended trials and free extension. Now on to the update. Let's kick it off with three big and exciting new pieces of functionality available through the manufacturing extension. First, we've added toolpath trimming in a new section of the toolbar called Modify. This allows you to trim milling toolpaths by drawing a polygon at the current view plane and trimming either what's inside or outside of the polygon. Only the necessary leads and links are regenerated while the rest of the toolpath remains unchanged. You can add or remove points to further refine the polygon and tilt the view to see how it will intersect with the toolpath. Multiple trims to one toolpath are also allowed. Any modifications will show up in the toolpath timeline and you can right-click to edit or delete a modification. Note that toolpath trimming is not available for every milling toolpath, and you can only currently trim a toolpath that has a compensation type of in-computer. Check out the video linked in the description for a more detailed look at toolpath trimming. Next, rotary is a brand new strategy that allows for continuous rotary motion with three pass types. It can be used to mill revolved parts or on more complex geometry that could be machined about a centerline axis. While this strategy is commonly used all the way around a part, you can also set axis limits based on two point selections or by entering an angle numerically. The available pass types are spiral, line, and circle, where spiral moves the tool in a constant spiral around the part from the front to the back, Line moves the tool along the axis of rotation with an angular step over, and circle moves the tool in discrete circular passes connected with a transitional move. Check out the video linked in the description for a more detailed look at rotary. Steep and Shallow now has simultaneous 5-axis milling capabilities, controlled in the new tool axis tab. There's a lot to unpack here. So check out the video linked to the description or the upper right hand corner for a detailed look at all the capabilities and how to use them. Last but not least in the extension updates, we've enhanced surface inspection with a live connection to Haas controllers for real time results and feedback. Connect your computer to the control with an ethernet or serial cable and navigate to begin live measurement in the action section of the probing toolbar. Now back to the core updates. Recently, Setup Sheets came to Fusion Team, giving you access to the Setup Sheet from any internet-connected device and adding functionality like comments and sharing. Now we've added more flexibility with built-in configurations to help you quickly create a Setup Sheet that's best for you. Configure directly from the Setup Sheet dialog upon creation in Fusion or later on when accessing from Fusion Team. In addition to many bug fixes and turning, CAN cycles are now available for profile roughing operations. When CAN cycle is selected, both in-computer and in-control compensation types are available. In the parting operation, we added support for a reduced spindle speed in addition to the reduced feed. When use reduced feed and speed is checked, you can now limit the spindle speed as well as the feed within a specified radius. This helps reduce the chance of damage to parts as they're coming off the stock. Note that this option is currently only available when use constant surface speed is disabled. Check out the What's New blog for details on the many turning bug fixes. Last update, we launched support for FFF additive in addition to the metal additive capabilities available in the extension. In this update, we've made improvements to the print simulation, making it easier to interact with the print preview. There's an orange plane at the current slice that you can simply drag up and down to see the toolpath as helpful information like layer and height update in the simulation dialog box. Finally, we added support for component color cycling in workspaces other than design, including manufacturer. 
Component color cycling applies colors to components to help you more easily differentiate them, helping with identification and knowing which timeline feature belongs to which component. Now, when you switch from design to manufacture, these colors will remain applied. There's also a hotkey to toggle it on or off, shift N. As always, check out the What's New blog for more detail and be sure to check out all the good stuff in the design and engineering and electronics updates as well. Stay well, and I'll see you next time.